Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vilkis. How are you all doing? Hope you're good. It's good to be back with another tutorial which will be on how to make this Danshiki Kaftan dress with a deep V neckline. And I'll also show you how to have the collar band to it. It's very easy and I'll make sure that part is very detailed. If today is your first time of checking out my channel, you're welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to also tap on the notification bell to get notified each time we put up a video. Check out my other channel, Pattern Drafting with Billy Keys. You will love every bit of the tutorials. Then for our online classes, sewing tools, and our physical classes here in Lagos, just use the contact number on the screen or in the description box to get to us. Now back to work, I have two fabrics there. I'm making use of this Ankara fabric for the main dress. It could be long or short. I will be making it short and then I will just make use of this plain fabric for the collar band and the pockets. But you could get an alternative fabric. But because the fabric I'm working with is so busy, I just have to go with a plain fabric. So having done that, I'll be making use of three yards of fabric for this because I want the length to be 45 inches with same allowance inclusive. This dress is a one size fit all. I am a plus size, I could wear it. The small size person could also wear it. But if you don't want it as big as that of mine, I will show you how to go about that. So all I did is to fold my fabric into two. I told you three yards of fabric, so I folded it into two. So this is the selvage area and the other selvage. So for Akara fabric, it is always 45 inches. So I will use that part to be the dress. So along the width now, the length is the 45 inches. Along the width where you measure the yardage, one, two, three, four, five, and six, I just fold it into two. So looking at it, I fold it into two, and after folding into two, then I fold it into two again. So this will be the shoulder area and then straight down. And for this type of dress, I'm just going to fold it that way at the shoulder. I won't include any slope, but in case you want to add slope to it, just measure at the end of the dress, measure three inches and connect to the edge of your neckline and you're good to go. So in that case, you have a join at the shoulder, but for this, I don't want to join in at the shoulder. So I folded this this way, so that will be the shoulder point. So now, as I've explained, in case you want your short or not as wide as the one you saw on the thumbnail, it totally depends on your preference. All you have to do is to take your measuring tape. So at the back here, there's a bone there. Just take your, put your measuring tape there and then to wherever you want it to be on your arm area. So like for me, I'll just use the total length of what I have here. So when I measure, I have 22 and a half. So and I will be taking in one inch similar one, so it's okay or I could just make it 20 inches, it will still be fine, even 18 inches. But for like a small size person, you don't want it to be as wide as this, just use something around 16 to 17, will be perfect. But if you still use this, it comes out well for everyone. So now back to work. So since I've not concluded the length I want, maybe 20 or 22 and a half, that is left for me to do. Now let's quickly go to the neckline. So for the neckline, this is for all sizes, just do the same thing. All I have to do is this. Now this will be the front and this other part will be the back. I've told you I don't want any joining by the shoulder. So all I have to do now is to start with the front. I will measure three and a half inches. Can you see that? So the next thing, the length of the V-neck, I want it to be nine inches. Which is at this point. Good. The next thing I will do now is to make a curve. I want the curve part to be on the side and then the other side will just be a straight V. So what do I do in that case? This three and a half, I'll just mark on this other side too. Open it up too, because that's the back, we are still gonna work on that part. Also here. Good, you can see what I have, the nine inches. So the next thing is to just make this part a bit curvy. So 
So you can either use your ham hole curve or just your hip curve. Although we are still going to connect to the other side. So this is the three and a half inches point and this is the nine inches point. So what I will do now is to open up this part. So this is the back part. And with the crease on the fabric, I know this is the center. So I'm just going to open it up. Also with the crease at the shoulder, I know the shoulder. So this is the center. This is the shoulder area. So now this is the back. This is the front where we have the curve. Good. So for the back now, this is the shoulder line. Three quarter inch is fine from that shoulder line. So because we have marked that three quarter inch here to be easy. Good. I'm right, going to cut the back first. Remember, it's on fold. This is the center. I'm just going to stop at that. Then I can now take the shoulder back. This is the shoulder line. This is the other shoulder line. So I'm now going to straighten it back. So the back has been cut off. We are left with the front. The center here this is the three and a half this is also the three and a half here so this part now is just going to be the straight v why this part is going to be the curvy part but one thing you are just going to do now is from the center now because we want the v to move to this side and then the curve towards the side from this point just go outward remember it is nine inches it's still intact can you see nine inches so go outward towards wherever you want the V to be. So this is one inch. Between one inch to three quarter is fine. So can you see? And I connect this in a straight line. So can you see? Then we can now reconstruct these curved parts. I have and we are good as done. So good. So you can see the back is fully formed and then the front too is fully formed. This is what we have. But assuming you wanted to have just deep V, I'm going to make a tutorial on that. That one is even easier than this. You cut it wide on fold. So it is easy. So we are done now with the dress. We are done with the dress. So the next thing is the collar band and the pocket. Now for the collar band and the pocket, so what I did, I decided to reduce the um, wideness to 20 inches. So from the edge here now, I have 20 inches with seam allowance. So one inch will be for seam allowance. Now for the collar band, all I did is this. I just measured the neckline all round. Let's say from one point at the back, I measured all around. So I have like 28, so I just added more. So for it, I have, instead of the 28, I just made 35, just to be on the silver side. We can always trim that ball. I want this collar band to be two inches. So all I did is to cut out two and a half inches. As you can see that on fold. Can you see that? I cut that out on fold. And the next thing I did was to use a lightest interfacing, the lightest one, paper stay, just to make this fabric stable. And looking at it, you see it looks more 
stable. So that would be for the collar band. Then for the pocket, this is what I have. I hold up so hard at the interfacing to it. So I cut out two right side facing each other or left side facing each other. So for the length, I have it to be 10 inches. And then for the width, I have it to be eight inches. We are still going to take in half an inch on both sides all through. And then for the upper part, it will be one inch to aim it. So that was why I have that much. So now for the design, if you want that design by the side, it totally depends on your preference, or you could just have it this way in square form. But let's assume you want to have the curve. So you could just do something like this, get the midpoint. This is eight, so that would be four. So you can come here three inches upward and then connect this way. And you see, so that can be cut off to have that design, or you could even have a curve. It totally depends on your preference. You could have something like this. So however you want it to be, totally depends on you. So I'm not sure which one to go for. I'm not sure at all. I think this is okay. So this is what we are going to have. So this is how the pockets will be. One will be on this side, one will be on this side. So having done that now, we will go to the sewing machine to fix the collar band because I want to show you step by step on how to do that. Before I fix the collar, I just want to quickly explain the pocket. So with the crease, I know this is the center of the, pocket, uh, the dress. From here, that's the center with the crease. So how do you know where to place your pocket? It is very, very easy. So just measure 20 inches. Between 20 to 21 is fine from the edge. So this is about 21 inches. So 20, 21 is just fine. Can you see at that point? I'll come down here. Let me do the same 20. One, which is also here. So after marking that point, let me now put a ruler so it will be easier for you. So I still know this is the center. The next thing I will now do is this. From this midpoint, I will measure four inches. So I'm placing four inches here, then mark. Then that will be eight inches now. So the distance between each pocket will be eight inches you see so you now place your pocket on it after folding half an inch the first thing is to hem the upper part one inch in you have something like this so you place it at that point let me see so you just fold half 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 and then sew it to it only the front part the next thing with the marking, I know where to place it to so after folding the one inch. Can you see the pocket is perfectly formed? So it is time for us to fix the collar, and this is what the neckline looks like. This is the straighter part and the curvy part. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to notch these straighter parts. So I'm just going to follow these curvy parts, just quarter. So half an inch is fine. So after doing that now, we are now going to start sewing it this way. This is the right side of the fabric. So this is what we want to have. We want to start sewing. So you leave about one inch before you start sewing. So the notching will make it easier for you. So make sure it matches it this way. Can you see? Then you're going to start from there. So to make it easier for me, I'm just going to sew it on the wrong side. So can you see, and I'll turn it to the wrong side. So this is it now on the wrong side. So this is it on the right side. Can you see the color is on the right side. So this is the part I notched. That will be a guideline. So put your needle at that point. I can remove my pin. 
and I'm just going to start sewing. Make sure the color matches the edge. So make sure you take that half an inch. So when you get to this back area, you can just give it a little notch because you have to follow the straight line. Just take your time. So you keep adjusting it. So when you notch those parts, those corners, it will make it easier for you to walk around them. Here now I'm at the other curve of the back, the shoulder area. So I'm just going to give it a little notch again. Make sure there's no fold on that part. So I'm away from the shoulder now. So we are moving to the curve part. So let me just stop it at this point and turn it to the right side so that you can see it. Looking at it, I have stopped. You know, remember I was sewing on the wrong side. I had to turn it to the right, right side for you to understand. So this was where I started. Can you see? I started here so when I got here because this is the curvy part and it could be a little bit tricky so that was why I turn it here now for you to see so because we notch this part it will be easier for us to take this in let me show you so this is what we want to have can you see that this is exactly what we want to have so now since this now you place it in it will help us to know where to stop sewing these other parts I just have to do it this way for you to understand. So at that point now, I can now mark here. Just mark that point or put a pin. So can you see? Then at that point, you can also notch because that's where you want to stop. Can you see? Then this curved part, you can just notch little, little so that it's just going to relax. Just about three. But this is exactly where I want to stop. So I can just continue on the right side. So make sure it matches. So it's still the same thing. But we are going to stop at this point. So at that point, you can just put in a pin. I'm really taking my time to explain that part. So let us just continue sewing on the right side. Guys, my camera stopped and I've already finished making the neckline. I felt like crying. That is what we content creator goes through. But no problem. So you can see what it looks like. So I've already cut out another fabric just to explain from where we stop. So this is what it looks like. You can see this part is straight. Why this part is curvy. It is very easy to make. So now we just continue from where we stopped. I want to make sure everything is sure. So I'm just going to continue from where I explained to. So this is the notch. So let's just keep sewing it up. Maintaining the half an inch. So just make sure you maintain the curve. So I'm just going to stop at that point. This is it. Good. So this is what we have now. And then this also goes inside. So can you see how beautiful that is? Can you see that? So the next thing now is for me to finish it on the inside. And you see, so beautiful. So this place is still open. So we are going to be sewing it on the wrong side. But the most important thing is that we have achieved this part being straight and this part being 
curvy. So what you're now going to do is that you can just secure this part with a pin. Then open it up on the wrong side. So I can just trim this off first. We are still going to trim it off. This is still intact. So the next thing is to open it up. Then the curved area you can notch. Just little so with the parts we notched here you can see we have some excesses so just take your time going back to the sewing machine so this was where I stopped this part I'll put my needle in there Good. and then stop at this point where the V stops here so on the other side as well you are just going to stop so i'm just going to back this so just follow the curve so beautiful and you see how lovely that is so this is what we want to achieve can you see this part is straight this part is curvy so you give it a good press so on the wrong side what I'll just do is to just trim this off so you can see it's neat on the wrong side and then on the right side so beautiful so let's all just fix in the pocket and we can round up the dress what the dress looks like you can see how beautiful the neckline looks you can see that and then the pocket i have made one of it and you see that so this is what the pocket looks like so all i did is to just overlock it all then sew in the one inch and then use my pressing iron to press it to make it easier. So the next thing I will do is to finish this other one. As you can see that. The next thing I will, will do now is this other side. Now it depends on the amount of opening I want to leave, but it doesn't really matter how much you leave. You can leave between 10 to 12, but 10 on the average is okay. So I'm just going to mark from the edge 10 inches so I can notch that point. I can just notch it. The next thing will be to open it up, folding half an inch or quarter, then half an inch again from the initial point to the other 10 point. And after doing that to both sides, I'm just going to sew in from that point one inch all down to close it up and then the hem of the dress too i'm going to fold it and that is all so guys this is what our danshiki or captain dress looks like with the deep v neckline and you can see how the color looks so beautiful one part pink being straight and the other being a bit curvy the pocket and it's just a free dress for all sizes you can see this is on a medium size mannequin a boss 36 keep 40 and it's still looking so good which is also my size so if this tutorial has been helpful please give me a giant thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i remain your girl bell keys bye guys